Hey there, so today we have another review and this is, this is fun because uh, Pariah sends me a lot of beer, but uh, they've sent this one before and this would, had to be at least uh, a few months ago. And this is their pine. Yeah, love, I recognize this one. This one had a lot of... Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I love the simplicity of it. Yeah. Um, I think that Pariah out of like, you know, the regular beers that we drink, they have some of the best labels simply because... Um, a lot of them are very, very simple. And then the ones that are more complex are actually like very interesting. So I don't know who does their, their labels, but it's multiple. Awesome. You know, who, I mean, I don't have an art. It's director. obviously got to be multiple because there's yeah. just like the art difference in labels. Is so what is pine? Pine is a sort of a hazy classic IPA involving Chinook and Simcoe. Mm, Chinook. I've been getting into Chinook lately. Ooh. So, uh, let's talk about this beer. This is from Pacific Northwest, where all the hops come from. Uh, rich aromas of grapefruit, citrus, and pine. Copious amounts of uh, Chinook and Simcoe in the uh, Whirlpool and Dry Hopping, blah, blah, blah. It is two-row oats and wheat, very simple mobile, and then Sim uh, Simcoe and Chinook. And um, let's talk a little bit about Chinook towards the end of the video, but let's just dig into the beer. So. Uh, the beer is really pale. Uh, the beer obviously uses only two row oats and wheat. It is a light yeah. uh, pale, not as opaque as the other hazy that we did yeah. in the 90s, uh, but it has this kind of like a, you know, light bubble kind of thing. looks very pretty. Yeah, it's Medium a bit more watery haze. than I think in most, in most of your Ooh, New England yeah. styles. What is that? It's an aroma. It's like... <sighs> Super tropical, yet... What is that note I'm getting? I don't know. It's, because I'm getting a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm getting a lot and I'm getting some notes, but like, I'm like trying to figure out what it is. It's like, okay. So it almost has like a watermelon bubblegum thing going on. Yes. I was, I was thinking watermelon first, but it's not like pure, like, oh man, it smells like watermelon Jolly Rancher. Right. Like, this is, yeah, this is like candy watermelon. This isn't like <sighs> the actual fruit. It's like watermelon, me. melon rind, but like general. So like watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe. <sighs> Ooh, this smells good. This doesn't it's smell a, like the last yeah. wine we had. Yeah, and it's not um, all that like kind of like myrcene, kind of like intense, kind of like greenness, weed, and all that stuff. It's like it's got a nice fruitiness. It's it's you know what? It's like watermelon water. I don't know. It's just more like candied watermelon to me. Yeah. It almost smells like sour-ish, like a watermelon <sighs> warhead, but but some fruitiness. So there's a light kind of mango character, sweet tangerine. Tangerine. Oh, you get some of your citrus uh, fruits in there as well. Um, with kamaquat. A like kind of a weedy kind of cracker thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's dig in. It's a great nose. Cheers. This doesn't... I don't feel like the last pine we had was like this. I guess I'll have to check out the review. I actually don't have... I no. remember I love that beer. So I just remember it being a lot pinier and like um this is this is almost New England style to me. It is New England style, it's hazy. Yeah. Okay, hazy. 7%. Okay. Smooth. This is the void of bitterness. Holy I thought smokes. you said it was supposed to be like less. So I guess it's aged a little bit. It is completely devoid of bitterness. There's like a little bit of hot dryness to it. Completely but like devoid of what? Bitterness. Bitterness. Yeah. No, I, I I do get some bitterness in there. It's almost like kind of like a papery napkin thing going on, but it's yeah. like not offensive. Yeah. Like like it's not oxidation, but oxidation, I think it's like, yeah. It's I think it's chalkiness from uh Yeah. That's high, kind of uh, more chloride, what it is. Uh, calcium chloride usage. Um uh it has a nice orange juice thing. Do you get that? Initial up front. It's like, it's like orange juice. Yeah, yeah. This is this is really good actually. Um I think you know it compares. It compares very well to their only ninety kids would get it. Um, you know they're both very good New England style IPAs. However, they're both vastly different. Vastly different. Um, in that this isn't necessarily as thick and coating. Mm -mm. This is very thin, watery, and I know these words kind of sound negative. Like you know they could carry a negative connotation. However, this is like positive. It, it, it works. Um, yeah, it's very crushable. It's very, I like the thinness of it um, for a New England style because a lot of New England styles are very sticky and very sweet and very just mouth coating and, you know, they're, they're, they're thick. This is not that. So, I mean, despite the appearance, it actually is quite thin. Take it on the sip. Tell me if you get the juicy fruit thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Or is use juicy fruit. Juicy fruit the gum, right? Yeah. 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 Um, I do kind of, yeah, still get some of that like watermelon bubble gum, like some yeah. of that, that fruit by the, not fruit by the foot, but um, uh, bubble yum. Bubble, uh, bubblicious. Bubblicious. Yeah. <laughs> the roll. Um, yeah. It's not I, a roll. It's like it comes in a stick. And, you know, like the no, big no, no, no. I'm talking ones. about, I'm talking, no, that's bubble yum. Uh, I'm talking about the, the roll one. I guess, yeah, I, the, I don't know. I was like, is that bubble? Wait, wait, wait. Which one? Bubblicious is the one that comes in a stick with the big chunks. But then there's also bubble, bubble tape. Yum. The bubble tape. I'm pretty the, sure the, bubble the, yum is like cute. I don't know. Whatever. Despite that, this definitely has some like candy, like 90s kids would remember, which has nothing to do with this beer, by the way. This is more um, 90s kids to me. Than actually yeah, actually. Yeah. Because it has that, um, that, that whatever brand or name, watermelon. Like delicious Esther. Watermelon, right. um, bubble gum. I kind of get some of that mm. um, sunny D orange juice. Yeah. So the flavors are actually relatively candied, but in a way that's like balanced out really well with the yeah. dryness and the hops. It's delicious. Yeah. It's What's your final impression, right? Crushable, delicious, simple, yet complex. Um, this is really good, Pierrot. Yeah, yeah, really good. Pierrot. Really good. I feel like this is different than our last pine review. Um, I don't know if I was in that one with you, but I know I tasted it. I feel like this is actually better. This is, um, this is really good. Um, super crushable. Seven point what percent? Seven point zero. Seven seven percent. Very sneaky. <laughs> um, I enjoy this, and um, would absolutely drink this again. Um, Pariah is killing it with these IPAs, which is number. Awesome. Yeah, you're pushing me now. Um, I want to get number eight. Come on, let's go. Oh, this is super hard because super good. I'm gonna say 94 on this one. I don't like 94. it quite as much as the as the 90s kids. Cool, but um, I like it nice. quite a bit. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, this uh, showcases uh, one of the hops that uh, a lot of people underrate, which is shoot up. And mm-hmm. listening to uh, Candy uh, Brewery. It's actually one of those hops that actually is a great kind of blender hop that actually plays well with a lot of other hops. And for, from what I've listened to them, you know, trying a lot of home brews, a lot of like commercial brews and trying a lot of hops, Chinook is a freaking killer. Mm-hmm. Uh, from what I said, Chinook might be the dominant hop in um, Arrogant Bastard, possibly. And it's just like one of those hops that's like secretly like a great, great, great hop. I think a lot of brews are not uh, getting as much as they can out of Chinook. Uh, Chinook, you know, generally can be considered like one of those like, piney hops, like West Coasty things, like blah, blah, blah. But with the New England style, like they clearly have done great things with it. And Simcoe is another crazy one because Simcoe, yeah. a lot of people um, uh, associate with like 4MMP and um, like this kind of like uh, caddy dang thing. Uh, Simcoe can be really fruity and we've gotten all fruits out of this one. No dankness, no green pineyness, kind of weird issues. Can I interject and say, Okay, so I feel like, okay, I love citra hops. However, I feel like citra hops are being well overplayed at this point. I feel like every beer is like, oh, we're going to use citra because everybody likes citra. But now it's to the point where it's like, I drink a beer, I know it's citra, and I'm like, "Mm, okay, well, now I'm starting to get sick of citra. No knock on citra, still like it. However, the Chinook and the Simcoe, I'm starting to see more and more of this. And it's a new flavor. It's bringing new things to the table, especially as far as New England style IPAs and West Coast IPAs, uh, more than New England style. Um, but I think it's a really, really, yeah, like you said, underrated. Those are both underrated hops Absolutely. that um, I would really like to see more breweries play on. It's a great hop combination right here, right now. This is, and um, this, is this is a 7% crusher. This has a really nice kind of pretty like hints of a tree housey kind of like juicy fruit kind of like bubble gummy kind of thing going on. Um, I like the fruitiness. I like the orangey quality. I like that's a little bit more aqueous and like quote unquote watery, but like you know just like thinner than your uh, the last uh, we reviewed the nineties uh, kids one, and it just like makes it more drinkable. I don't get any like I don't need that creaminess. I want a little bit more hops expression, and then I don't get any of that kind of hop burn and like intensity. And mm-hmm. it might have aged out because this can is um, I think two weeks younger than the um, beer that we reviewed. And two weeks older. You mean two oh, yeah. weeks older? Yeah, yeah. sorry, <laughs> two weeks older. That'd be I like was... impossible, because it'd be like a week in the future. In the future yeah. <laughs> um, absolutely delicious. Uh, this for me gets a 95.
Light touch. Excellent. Yeah, don't wake the baby. Seriously. Let me think about it. This is great. Um, again, than that. I get now like cantaloupe, all these like, interesting flavors. 97, light touch. Yeah, don't wake the baby. Yeah. Thanks again, Pariah. Like, seriously, you keep sending us all these amazing beers that we cannot really find down here except for like Ellipsis has been doing some great ones, IPAs. But like, Pariah is just like, I, I love Russian. it. I love it. This is so good. I We're going to come stuff. see you guys eventually. Until next time, guys. Cheers.